so far we have seen that uh, in dynamic programming algorithm uh, there was the issue of computational complexity so uh, we have uh, larger sequences and um, if we have more than two or th more than three sequences uh, then it becomes uh, practically impossible uh, to do or apply dynamic programming approaches to this multiple sequence analysis problem. So, Carrillo and Lipman in 1988, uh, they came up with an alternative algorithm. Uh, basically, uh, they label it as uh, MSA algorithm and then there is a software MSA uh, in which this algorithm has been implemented. Uh, it is a heuristic algorithm. Uh, remember guys, in heuristic algorithms as we have talked earlier, uh, you can get the quick solutions uh, that may not be the exact or the most optimal solutions, but you can have uh, your, your, the purpose of uh, your work is served more or less. So, this uh, algorithm was presented uh, in order to reduce the search space in dynamic programming and uh, as we discussed, it is implemented in MSA program. It assumes that the score of multiple sequence alignment is the sum of the scores uh, of all pairwise alignment. So, there is uh, a sum of pair or SP method uh, that has been implemented in this algorithm. So, let us go and uh, try to understand the sum of pair method with this example. Uh, for example, we have four sequences. Uh, these are uh, amino acid sequences. Uh, we have protein sequences like E, C, S, Q, S, N, S, G, S, W, K, N. Uh, we have S, C, S, N. So, how many pairwise compari comparisons we can have if we have four sequences? So, we see that there are six pairwise comparisons uh, if we, uh, we remove the duplicate comparison. So, we can compare sequence one with two, uh, one goes with three, one goes with four. Same way, two goes with three and four and then uh, 3 and 4 they are compared. So, in this way total we have 6 possible comparisons if we have 4 sequences. So, here is how this sum of pair method has been implemented. So, we uh, do pairwise comparisons. So, we, we take for example, first comparison uh, where have 1 to 2, sequence 1 and 2 they are aligned with one another. So, on sequence 1 uh, we have E and that is matched with S. So, that is actually a mismatch. So, we get a score of 0. Uh, remember here guys, we are actually consulting those substitution matrices. So, these scores are coming from those matrices actually. So, E substituted by S, we get a 0. And then we have this C and N in, in the next column or the next position. So, when we are doing this multiple sequence alignment, uh, we take each position as a column. So, in the second column, we have a mismatch again and the score is minus 4 and then we have SS, there is a match, so we get a plus 2. So, plus scores are, scores are high if we get the matches and for the mismatches, we need to consult the matrix. And then QG, uh, we get a minus 1. Same way, we do that for 1 and 3 and 1 and 4 and rest of them. And in the end, we get those columns all together and we get a summation of the scores for the whole column. So, for example, for column number 1, we get a sum of score that is equal to 6. In column number 2, uh, we get the score that is equal to negative 16. Column 3, you get minus 6. And column 4, uh, you get 3. So, in general, this algorithm can be summarized into these following steps. So, we create a phylogenetic tree from the sum of the pair scores. We do this sum of pairing as we did in the previous example in the last slide and then we come up with a phylogenetic tree. Then we produce a draft alignment built incrementally from the tree. So, we do this sum of pair scoring and then we make up a tree and then from the tree we get again draft multiple sequence alignment. And the pairwise alignments and the draft MSA then circumscribe a solution space within which we can do a, or embed or implement a dynamic programming search. Uh, here is the page of this software MSA. It is written as the form for multiple sequence alignment. So, where you can have do your optical alignments, uh, you can do, you can uh, adjust the gaps and you can assign the weights and there are multiple options. You can look into it in your homeworks. Uh, you will be asked to do something similar. So, this is the web page for this algorithm.
So we see that uh, due to high running uh, time of dynamic programming algorithm, uh, we came up with an alternative by the help of Carrillo and Lipman and this algorithm MSA is an alternative to this dynamic programming approach uh, which has been implemented in the MSA program.